Hello everyone, my name is Alex Angel and you are on my channel watching fast tutorial for my recent project dedicated to the Oppenheimer movie. Here I will show you everything from the simulation and in the end I will show you the rendering presets and even compositing in Fusion. And you will know that this project is easier than you think. So let's get started. So from the beginning let's check our unit setup and it must be centimeters to centimeters. So we are ready to go. Let's create our ground. This is just a plane with minimum polygons. And now we need a sphere uh, for the particles emission. Let's delete uh, polygons which we don't need. And uh, squeeze a little bit and place it just a little bit above the ground. So now we can create tie flow. So inside tie flow, basically the system is very basic. It's just a birth from the frame four to four and 600 particles. Position object and choose our sphere. Shape to our particles and just uh, chunks around and the size about 450. So now we can add a surface force and choose also our sphere, turn off simulation uh, substeps, and normals, force, 35, and some variations. And delete our particles and the particles age at level 6. So we have our emission system. Let's adjust a little bit. Yeah. So let's create our source and uh, choose our tie flow. Change uh, emit mode to the volume inject. This is very important. And inject injection power should be animated as well as the temperature and motion velocity must be 1.5. Also for the tie flow, don't forget to turn on the particle interface, otherwise it won't work as it's supposed to be. So now we are ready to create our simulation volume box. Adjust the size and the cell size. Vorticity settings should be like this. Randomize pretty low. Fluidity should be direct symmetric. This is also very important. And the substeps should be animated as well. And don't forget to uncheck the uniform density. Smoke buoyancy should be negative, only 0 0.85 below zero. Gravity is 0 0.25. Time scale should be animated as well. You will see on the graph a little bit later. So let's add our uh, ingredients to the, our simulation box. Let's make a backup intervals just three and increase storage quality set our output files address and let's try our first simulation well not bad for the first uh, try we already can see our uh, mushroom of the explosion So now we are ready to create our second source for the ground and choose our plane. And we need to create a map. That will be a gradient ramp. 
radio and the colors uh, white inside and the black outside of the ring additional point and we need to animate it first uh, six frames should be the maximum expansion uh, let's move uh, the keys from the frame number zero to the frame number three to make animation faster and a little bit slowing down and the frame 15 now let's add our map to the second source to the velocity channel temperature and smoke and temperature and, and velocity should be animated the frame zero is uh, minimum force and uh, frame number five we have a spike maximum temperature and maximum velocity and frame number 20 we have fading away later you will see uh, the graph uh, for these animations so let's add our second source to the simulation and try to simulate Well, this is a pretty good result for the first try. We have a very nice smoke emission from the ground. It's like a shock wave. We have a fireball expanding and growing and moving upwards. And we have a nice mushroom uh, look of this explosion and a nice silhouette. Yeah, and it is growing up. So yes, uh, this is a pretty nice setup. And we can tweak uh, this uh, setup a little bit more. And we will get more spherical uh, look of the top of the mushroom. And the only thing we need is to adjust some parameters and animate some values. This took from me a few hours and I will show you already the final result. So this is the preview of the simulation which I got after some tweaks of the parameters. And let's check what is our final uh, parameters and the animation graphs so our scene scale is 0 0.7 cell size is 4 so it uh, gives me 40 million of cells so dynamic is gravity still 0.2 time scale is animated and the smoke buoyancy is same randomize is same So the graph animation, this uh, first several parameters are just for render. So let's focus on steps per frame and the time scale. So steps per frame have a spike of 18 at frame 10 and the time scale spike uh, 2.6 at the frame 6 and fading off, fading on at the beginning and at the end. And the tie flow uh, system is also same as before. 500 particles, same position object, same uh, surface force. Nothing changed here. So as you can see, uh, this is the main concept that the particles, uh, they are uh, creating this fireball and pushing pushing away and this is the settings for the source is still volume inject and uh, vel uh, motion velocity is 1.5 and this is the graph for the animation of the inject power so basically you can skip this curve because this curve covers uh, 40 frames but our particles uh, 
uh, on uh, just uh, six frames from the, as you see, from the frame number four till frame number nine. And actually the graph there is pretty flat, something around one, 150. So you can skip that curve. And this is the source of the ground emitter. And this is its animation. So as you see, this is uh, uh, the velocity uh, animation curve. It have a spike at the frame four from zero at the frame zero and fading away at the frame 20 to the uh, minimum level of five. And also temperature is animated. The smoke emission is only 0 0.2, as you see. And the motion velocity is uh, just one. And this is the animation of the map. You can see is uh, just the same as before. So that's it. This is a uh, whole setup for the simulation. And we got this beautiful nuclear mushroom. And the next step will be rendering settings. So let's talk about the rendering settings. And this is my preset for the fire. As you see, the light power on self and on scene is pretty low, 0 0.6, 0 0.2. Uh, the grid based, not the ray tracing for the shadow, uh, self shadowing. I have a curve for the visibility and these colors and the small color is basic also, not the ray tracing. I have a curve for the color and the small capacity is just simple, simple and 1.0, 1, 1 nothing, nothing special. And I, as you remember, I have a, some animation layers here and those animations may just to keep uh, the glow constant from the beginning to the end, maybe with some uh, overshot at the beginning when we have a uh, ignition. So I play with these parameters just to keep my glow uh, till the end. So I play with the fire uh, parameters and the small color. As you see, the master multiplier is decreasing. Uh, the online scatter multiplying is increasing and uh, light power on self and fire multiplier as you see they're also changing from f frame number 21 till the end uh, somewhere around frame 100 So that's it. As you can see, uh, the rendering preset is uh, very simple. Just several parameters are animated. And the uh, next step will be compositing in the Fusion. So welcome to the compositing chapter. Uh, here I will show you how I made uh, post-production in Fusion. But don't be scared, Fusion is pretty same as Nuke. The, the nodes are pretty same. So as you see, I have some uh, some noise on the ground at the beginning. So I had to render uh, some patch. And voila, I have a clear ground. So left side, those nodes is just a loader. So let's keep moving. Uh, brightness, this uh, the first node, I have a just a little bit uh, gain. Second node, I have a color curve, you see. I'm just decreasing a little bit the hotspots. Uh, soft glow, a little bit animated uh, because uh, the, uh, the fire is keep moving. So I need to keep my, my glow uh, steady. And the film effect, this is from the Sapphire plugins. There's, there are a lot of uh, parameters, but don't be scared. Is it 
creates just this uh, look at the hotspots uh, with the additional color variations with a little purple and green is very simple you can achieve the same in nuke uh, so next step is uh, color correction with the decreasing saturation so this is the first heavy uh, change uh, of the look so I decreased the saturation and a little bit played with the gain to just to compensate my hotspots so next step is another soft low and this one has no animation it's just it's just steady just just a glow for the hotspots very simple and another color curve so I played with the darks as you see it is I made a little bit darker the mm, mushroom stand and I played a little bit with the hotspots as well nothing crazy as well so I now I have a uh, the aberration the same same note as uh, uh, as in nuke is just to make some some artifacts of the old cameras then I made a resize to the 4k just to make a bigger and more space for the last uh, node and the last node is also from the Subfear plugins so this node is actually creating the old camera or old film uh, effect so as you see this noise this stains and a little bit uh, shaking and glow artifacts so actually you can achieve pretty same in nuke as i know some fear plugins they are available for the nuke also for the after effects so you can get them and made just exactly same result and as you see this uh, whole project was very simple lots of basic things just just be precise at the values and animation so i hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have any questions please let me know see you on my next project bye bye <laughs>